amend the conditions of the real estate trust fund, which we heard something about this evening. Um, up to the board on whether you want to place this one in. Uh, this would allow the town to, uh, by vote of the town meeting, provide this is approved by town meeting and the legislature, to borrow funds from the real estate health trust, a uh, real estate trust fund, uh, and not pay it, not have to pay it back with interest. Up to the town. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, the next one is the town office safety and energy improvements. Uh, this has been in before, but it hasn't made the warrant. Um, asking for a hundred thousand dollars for the purpose of uh, <coughs> replacing the glass in the town office. Uh, one of the reasons we want to do that is because it's not safety glass. Uh, this is dangerous. It, it, it can cause a problem. Our windows leak like a sieve. You can stand outside in the winter time and watch the heat radiate right through the, the side of the windows. So um, that that's needs, why you're standing outside. Well, that's why you're standing outside. Yeah, but it's very interesting to watch all, <laughs> all that radiant heat come careening out through the side of the window. Um, the other thing is that we feel quite strongly as far as the employees that work in here that um, the window should be somewhat organized so they can be opened when that's necessary. Uh, this window, this building has, has had a record of, of, of uh, sickness from time to time. Uh, we've cleaned everything in here and we still haven't wiped out those problems. Uh, we do clean on a regular basis. We've done all the duct work. We've, we've done virtually everything in this building. We still have sick problems. Um, you're going to need screens if you're going to have windows that open? Yeah, but there would be few of them so that we, we can regulate them. Yeah. Uh, not so that we can have windows open everywhere. Right. But we do need some opening to in order to mm -hmm. flush fresh air Frost into draft. the building. Yep. So that's, that's for your consideration. Okay, do you want to uh, bring that around to the board to discuss? Certainly. There, I think this is one that we might need some discussion on. Mr. Yeah. Waddell? The 100000 for the town hall? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're not voting on it tonight, right? No, no sir. No, we're not voting on it tonight. You know, I think I have enough information on it. Okay. One thing I would like to maybe bring out and sure. ask Mr. Welch about it is this. We had a warrant article similar to this before. It didn't make the warrant. It didn't make the warrant. Yes. So this is the same warrant article that we had at one other time. That's correct. Yeah. So the people have already turned this down once. No. No. no this has no. not been in the warrant. It didn't oh. go. To well, the, it went to the board, but it what, never made the warrant. Yeah, but what? It went to the board, but never made the warrant. You right? never put the it in the warrant. The first time. You're talking about like three years ago. Uh, this is this has been proposed twice now over the last five years. And both times it hasn't made the warrant. That's correct. And uh, so, was there any um, money that was raised to do something different with the heat or something like that? No, not that I'm aware of. We do regular repairs to it. Yeah, that's but about you it. haven't raised any money any other time to do something different to this building. No, no not with it. Not not with this type of thing that we're talking about here. Okay, Mr. Bridal. Now, the only thing I can remember they've done here is they they add the generator. A couple of years ago, that was yeah, the, right. outside, that was the, the yeah. outside generator. Um, this is an old building. Uh, the windows are drafty. Um, you, I think this this hundred thousand dollars could go a long way. It, it would be probably pay for itself over a number of years. It might be helpful if we could figure out an estimate on that. Uh, under the billing three years ago, which was a lower rate. For, for gas, mm -hmm. uh, the payback was 15 years or less. So, I mean, that's at least getting some of our money back. Uh, this building uh, is very drafty, uh, except you can't ventilate it pretty well. And, that's true. Um, and there is a concern to safety glass. You know, we're not having hurricanes and stuff around, but more and more you're getting tornadoes and stuff. And God forbid if this town ever got hit, if this building ever got hit, uh, there would be shards of glass flying around it instead of little pieces if you had safety glass. And then you'd have to replace the window. Well, you'd have to replace it, but also who got who got hurt in the meantime? Probably well, the most insurance of employees company will well. be paying for it if it happens. I think it's uh, I think it's something that we really need to look at. Yeah. So. This is going to be one of the things I won't be supporting this year, Mrs. Wolseley. I have no questions. 
Mr. Bain. No questions. All right. Um, amend disposal of surplus town property and materials ordinance. Mm -hmm. This would allow us, instead of actually offering for sale yeah. through auction or, or whatever, uh, an opportunity to take recyclable uh, metals to a junk or, or metal dealer for sale. Um, we have, because there's, a, there's an auction requirement in the current ordinance, we have sold some of these things for 150 or 200 dollars, and they just simply put them in the back of a truck and take them over to the the, uh, the metals dealer a few towns over and sell them for 500 or 600 dollars. No reason why the taxpayer shouldn't have that money. Yep. So that was the motive behind putting this amendment in. Um, reserve fund for unusual weather events. Something that we need to think about. Uh, we had one last year. We're praying for the good Lord to make sure we don't have one this year or next year or the year after. Uh, but we do need to have some reserve funds somewhere. We currently have zero. So this is a proposal to create a fund for unusual weather conditions and to put $50,000 into it. Mr. Bridal. I look at this as an insurance policy and hopefully we'll never have to use it. But if we did, at least some money would be there. And uh, we're not paying it every year. We could build the fund up a little bit, yeah. see what it is, and then go from there. Ms. Mrs. Wellesley. Too many funds. I don't want to start another one. Mr. Bain. No questions. I think it's self-insuring, which is a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is going to be another thing that I won't be supporting this year. Yeah. Uh, the next one is uh, Town War Memorial. As you know, we do not have one. We have some memorial stones, but we do not have a war memorial. Uh, we have veterans that are listed either in the Colonial Wars from 1638 to 1774, and then in wars fought for the United States from 1774 to date. Um, we have approximately 2,000 veterans uh, that are not recorded anywhere on any of our stones in town. Um, this would provide $5,000 uh, to study this. Uh, the Board of Selectmen uh, would work with the um, Hampton Post 35, the American Legion, and such citizens as a selectman should appoint. Uh, the sum of $5,000 would be come from the unreserved and designated fund balance. And they would have to produce a report uh, by March 31st, 2019 to be given to the selectman in the town. Mr. Waddell? No questions on that. No Ms. questions. No. Mrs. No questions. Wolseley, and I have no questions either. Thank you. Compensated leave trust fund. Uh, we currently have such a trust fund. The question is, should we appropriate funds for it? We're approximately $1.4 million uh, in arrears in the fund. We have approximately $290,000 that we've put aside. Um, this would, and the figure is arbitrary, $100,000 um, to come uh, to be, they'd be put in the fund from the undesignated fund balance if the, if the board approves it and the town approves it to start funding some of the, uh, the arrears and delinquencies that we have and the amount of money that's sitting out there against us. I wouldn't encourage the town to fund the entire fund because it goes up and down a little bit. Eventually it'll start declining, and, and but we should have some safeguards in there in case we have a large number of employees retire at the same time. Uh, that would cause a severe drain on our existing funding. Mm -hmm. Questions, Mr. Waddell. This is something that we that we desperately need to do, or else we're going to be in big trouble if if uh, ever it comes that we need it. I mean, it's it's totally underfunded. It's been brought up in the audits, right? Yes. I mean, it's it should have been done a long time ago. Uh, we haven't been putting money into it. We've been well. We have been putting some money into it from the uh, the balance of the uh, uh, the accrual account that's in the budget. If there is a balance at the end of the year. Um, my philosophy for some reason of government is that if it, if it shouldn't happen, it probably will. And, and uh, <laughs> it's just the way things are structured. And, and if it does happen and we don't have funds available in the budget, we're going to be in tough shape. 
because this money has to come out of appropriations if we don't have it in the, uh, in the budget. So, Mr. Bridal? All set. Now, usually you have a pretty good idea of how many people are going to be retiring. We do. We do, and we try to, we try to keep that balance in the budget every year. We try to keep it within the, the bounds of, of not increasing the amount of money that's there to pay for that. Uh, one of the things that I, we're very conscious of <coughs> is the fact the legislature has been starting to toy with the retirement system again. Yeah, that's and should they decide to take some action on the retirement system, a very large portion of that $1.4 million is going to come to play instantly. And we're going to have to cough it up, and we don't have it. So have we ever done this before? Put money in the fund? Uh, not and not by direct appropriation. Asking for a Warren article? No. So it's been before it's been done in the budget, or what? We take surplus money from that line item in the budget at the end of the year if there is any. There's very little this year. Uh, and we try to put that into that fund if there's money left in the, in the budget at the end of the year. Now, if there's any money in the end of the year, I would be in favor. Otherwise, I'm not in favor. Okay. Mrs. Wolseley. Yeah, I'm not in favor of this, and I, I'm not supporting anything on that warrant that that pulls from the undesignated fund balance. Yeah. Mr. Bean. Yeah, we enter in union negotiations with our employees on uh, behalf of our citizens. Uh, we have contractual obligations. Uh, the New Hampshire Retirement System sends a message to our finance director and they determine what we pay to the New Hampshire Retirement System. That is woefully underfunded uh, to the tune of billions of dollars. This is Hampton. We operate under a different standard. We'll be seeing uh, increases in health insurance. We get those through our union negotiations on behalf of citizens. We pay those bills. We're not paying this. This is amateur hour. I agree wholeheartedly with Selectman Waddell that we need to uh, uh, bring that up to at least uh, three or four hundred percent underfunded and uh, start making some inroads on it. Thank you, sir. Uh, there is the budget article, Mr. Chairman, that's set by statute. And when the budget committee finishes with their work, we'll be mm -hmm. plugging the dollar figures in there. Uh, and last week you heard from the assessor on the uh, reassessment of utility property, so I'm not going to repeat that. And we'll put this on your next meeting agenda we, for the cemetery burial trust fund. You, that's one of the ones in the articles you gave us. Change uh, the name. That's a no-brainer. That's a changed name. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Moving on.